What's going on, Android lovers? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from AndroidAuthority.com, your number one source for all things Android. Today we're going to be giving you a browser comparison using the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Going to be showing you which mobile browser is the best. Uh, we've got a selection um, from a few of the pop, well, most popular uh, downloads as far as browsers go that we're going to be using. Going to be using the Opera Mobile browser. Now that differs from the Opera Mini because the Opera Mobile is optimized for uh, almost higher end devices. The Opera Mini is for um, lower end smartphone applications for uh, compatibility reasons. We're also going to be using the Google Chrome browser, the Overscreen floating browser, Firefox Beta because the actual Firefox is not compatible with this device, and uh, Boat browser. Now all these browsers have uh, great features. Uh, they have some standout features that are native to. Uh, each of them that some of the others don't have. So let's just go ahead and check them out. Let's open up the Opera Mobile browser right now. Now uh, on the Opera Mobile, you can see our front page here just gives us a few nice tiles of um, popular um, recent visited sites. You can go ahead and click the O to get our uh, little settings tab there. We've got our bookmarks, history, start page. We have saved pages, downloads, settings, and then we can search the page for uh, keywords and we can share the page and then we have our help settings. Let's just go ahead and go into the actual settings now. Uh, we can choose to preload images. We have our Opera Turbo, which is a compression um, feature that uh, you know actually compresses websites up to 70% uh, for faster loading. So we'll just click Always On. Maybe see some uh, demos of that. Opera Link Zoom is at 125%. We have text wrapping, privacy, and advanced options. Now, anyways, let's just uh, navigate to a web page. We'll go ahead and go to Android Authority. Um, and actually Google searches right from the URL bar. We do have a Google search bar uh, dedicated as well. Now it should be going. When searched, okay, it's searched. I'm going to go ahead and pop our brightness up just a little bit for the sake of the video. Anyways, we do have our search results now. We click AndroidAuthority.com. Um, the Opera Mobile does not have the option to view uh, as desktop site as one of the options in the uh, little start bar there. So we're going to have to go and scroll down to uh, deselect the mobile theme on AndroidAuthority.com. We'll see if that loads up. Sometimes um, they do not honor the request to do that right from the website. But anyways, we do have uh, the non-mobile theme now. The Opera browser is running it very nicely. Go ahead and uh, check out our tabs management where we can uh, just simply swipe them left and right to get uh, different tabs. We can add a new one there. Uh, we can choose from all of our different uh, popular tabs here. And then we can simply add tabs um, based upon suggestions. Went ahead and added uh, Android Authority. So now we can actually just go to Android Authority right from the start page, cancel our load just like that. We also have the uh, refresh button there, back and forward. Pretty easy controls, basic stuff. Um, it's really fast, so I enjoy using it. Let's go ahead and compare it to our next browser. Let's use the Chrome browser. Now the Chrome has a few more options. Uh, and it has more of a desktop feel. We can go ahead and sign into Chrome. Gonna go ahead and sign in. So now that we're signed in, we can actually import all of our desktop bookmarks and the bookmarks from our other devices running the Chrome browser. So you can see here our tab management is uh, very <coughs> similar to that on uh, computers and desktop applications. We have our bookmarks and our voice search right there in the URL bar. The uh, three dots, similar to ice cream sandwich and jelly bean. Um, are where we will find our menu options. We have new tab. We can choose incognito tabs on the uh, Google Chrome browser. Simply switch back and forth between our regular open tabs and our incognito tabs by pressing these squares up there. We can cancel our incognito tabs. We have our bookmarks. See here on our desktop bookmarks, we have all the ones that we do have on our uh, actual computer. So I'll go ahead and go to Android Authority right from the bookmarks. Very convenient. We'll just load it up and cancel the first tab. Now, a Chrome does not support Flash, unfortunately, but we can simply press the menu and request desktop site. So now we'll reload into the Android Authority desktop site. <clears throat> Works very well. It's pretty fast as well. Um, let's check out some of the other settings. Um, we can choose other devices where we uh, can sync our Chrome bookmarks and open tabs from our other devices running Chrome, as I said. Go ahead and go into the actual settings now. We have basic settings. Um, such as our email, what account we're synced into. Uh, we have the advanced settings with privacy, accessibility, uh, bandwidth management, developer tools, and content settings. Chrome works great. Easy tab management. Simply just add new tabs like that. We have our forward, back, and uh, cancel button. 
This also serves as refresh when uh, we need it. Also save a bookmark very easily and perform voice searches. So that's great. We'll go ahead and move on to our next one. I'm going to skip the over screen for now. We'll use that one as our last one. And uh, we'll move on to Firefox Beta. Firefox Beta is very similar to the Google Chrome, except for we have plugins available for Firefox Beta, which makes it uh, very, very uh, cool. You can just add plugins. Um, go ahead and check out our menu here. We can request desktop sites as well. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to AndroidAuthority.com first. Whoops. I did misspell it, but we're going to go ahead and search it anyways. We'll see if we can get the suggestions. Okay, let's check it out. Mobile site as usual. Go ahead and hit our settings options and click request desktop site. One of my favorite features that comes with uh, browsers. Got to have my uh, desktop site when I'm using a tablet. That's basically why I have a tablet. I don't want the mobile version uh, 10 inches wide. <laughs> Anyways, we can search the page. We can save the page as PDF. We can clear the site settings, manage our add-ons, check our downloads. Go ahead and set our settings really quick, and then we'll check out some of the add-ons available. Anyways, we can enable cookies. We can clear our private data, tell sites not to track me. I'm going to go ahead and do that. We can import other uh, bookmarks from our Android browser and stuff like that. We have plugins, text size options. Let's go ahead and check out some of our uh, add-ons we can get. As you see here is our tab management. Comes in from the left. You can simply add a tab like this. Go ahead and minimize that. Back to our add-ons manager. Now we can uh, choose integrated search with Google, Amazon integrated search, Twitter, Wikipedia. We can go to our little add-on store here. Let's remove that. So we have URL fixer, uh, phony. These are just some suggestions. There's a lot of add-ons you can do. Um, a lot of great ones. So go ahead and check them out for yourself. And view our full site as well. Um, Firefox is awesome, does not have Flash support, has integrated HTML5 support. It's what everything is moving to. So go ahead and go back. Let's check out the boat browser. Now the boat browser is really cool because we do have our uh, status bar here on the bottom, forward and back. And we have our favorites, our bookmarks. Here's our tab management and then there's our settings. And under settings we can choose a home page. Uh, this has add-ons as well, so let's check out some of those. Uh, let's go into the Play Store. Uh, whoops, I don't have a little better. But here's our different add-ons. We have web to PDF, uh, tab history, show IP, uh, URL shortener, multi-license key, all that great stuff. Go ahead and go back um, just to a web page now. Let's try and navigate to Android Authority. Search result there. Okay, so we can also set how the um, browser appears, uh, whether or not it's uh, acting as an Android uh, desktop. So we can always request the desktop sites, iPhone, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, or iPad. We want to keep that an Android for now. Very cool, fast browser. Um, we do have the ability to enable the uh, desktop site if we go ahead and switch the UA again. Go ahead and do the desktop, in fact. Go back, and if we refresh the page, uh, it does act as a desktop. We'll load the full version of the website. So that's really great. Awesome functionality. We'll go ahead and do the overscreen browser now. And I also failed to mention we're going to be checking out the Dolphin browser. So we'll download that one very quickly. Here's our overscreen browser. As you can see, I opened two of them by clicking it twice. Very cool, innovative browser. You can simply drag it around. And uh, you can still share and um, do all of your different stuff in the background here. All of your applications can be running in the background, and then you can simply maximize this if you'd like. It's the main functionality of the Overscreen browser. Really awesome. You have all your bookmarks. Just go ahead and uh, visit a web page now. Go ahead and go to Roots Wiki. To the Galaxy Nexus thread. Now we have our close, our minimize and maximize. We have our settings here and our bookmarks as well. We can choose private tabs, uh, request desktop version, block pop ups, check out our settings for the over screen browser really quick. We have our general settings where we can set the home page and remember tabs on startup, privacy and security settings, advanced bandwidth management, a lot of great stuff. Now um, the over screen does support flash, so you can have flash videos playing in this small box and still be working on uh, all your other tasks. Pretty great stuff. And then uh, you have your notification right here. 
to show that overscreen is running. You can tap to terminate. Simply uh, removes it. Okay, so now we'll check out our Dolphin browser. As you can see here, I do have the Dolphin browser open. Uh, we have all of our different shortcuts, Google, uh, Wallpaper, Facebook, Twitter. Here's our tab manager. We can go ahead and add a tab just like that. Our settings, we can click the menu. We have uh, more options. We have bookmarks. We have our add-ons. Go ahead and click the Dolphin voice search. I'm going to go ahead and cancel back, uh, but that is our intuitive voice search. Go ahead and go back to our options. Check out the more. We have our downloads manager. Go to our settings as well. Choose our default search engine. Set our home page. Home page is always awesome because I love to set my home page. Um, I don't like when you have to go to whatever the browser wants you to. Here's we'll just try and go to Google for a second. And from Google, we'll go ahead and search Android Authority. Whoops. Android Authority. Go ahead and go to our website now. Looks like it is going to load in the desktop. No, it loaded in mobile. So we'll go ahead and uh, click our desktop theme, just as always. And it reloads in the, uh, well, it doesn't. Sometimes browsers do that. Uh, won't load into the uh, desktop theme. But anyways, the Dolphin browser is great. Let's go ahead and check out some of our add-ons. Uh, we have our Dropbox for Dolphin. Uh, we can choose Evernote add-ons, antivirus add-ons. Go ahead and go to our add-on settings, add-ons manager, and we can add more. Go to our index here. Sorts of great stuff. Speed test, Dolphin eBooks, books to SD card, text sizer. And we can go back to our Dolphin search. I accidentally clicked that. And uh, we can actually, when we exit Dolphin browser, every time we can choose to clear the cache, or the cache, the uh, clear history, and then we can choose to not ask that again. So we can exit. Anyways, guys, that was our browser comparison. Which one do you guys think is the best? We have a great assortment here. Now, a lot of these are free. Uh, in fact, all of these are, but they do have paid versions, a few of them, uh, except for the overscreen. I'm sorry. The overscreen, I think, is $2 in the uh, Google Play Store. Which one do you guys like? Go ahead and tell us. Uh, leave a comment, and uh, we'll get back to you with some feedback of our own. As always, thank you for watching. This is Clayton with AndroidAuthority.com.